Yo, I'm yo, I'm chilling with, I'm chilling with the boy right here. It's, you can't even say, but when you talking, this is New York City right here, Wu Tang Clan. A lot of, you know, historic shit coming out of this end right here. Introduce yourself to the world. Yo, Tell me what you're doing. I mean, I move with Super from the Wu Tang, of course, when he's a killer beat. You know, I mean, he's on that new album, Welcome to the Jungle. You know, I fuck with my sound of Van Dipset, y'all just did a button Spence. They know me having shout out Luca Bly, CD, y'all need. You know what I mean? Shout out the whole D Block. Of course, you got Styles on the album. Okay. Drag on. Shanks drugs was up. Shanks, you know, Shanks in the building. That's far back today. You know what I mean? Not to interrupt, but what, what kind of um, so we can do this right quick. What kind of um, uh, advice would you give to young artists out there? You know, trying to make a name for themselves, like looking up. Like I know a lot of cats, like particularly like in NY. You know, when Fifty was first popping. You know what I mean? Going at other cats. Is that like a wise move? Should cats be trying to get? In, involved with battles or should they be more focused on like the product you know what, what kind of direction should well, artists wanna, be taking you want to have both at the end of the day battling is, is, is part of hip hop that's right. how hip hop really began so well, you gotta be nice with yours in order to battle you know what I'm saying at the end of the day if you garbage you know, since you're going at an individual that's nice trying to just get a name right. you know what I mean for you know for listening purposes but if you're really nice you got a topic to bring up you got something to put on the brother then bring it to a head. That's what hip hop is. It's, you know, it's, it's an art form, and the battle is how it started. So I'll never knock that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, but know your business too. Like the more you know in the business, the less they can take advantage of you. See what I'm saying? But um, at the end of the day, we trying to bring forth them down and be more doing my thing. Shout out Diamond K. Shout out the VMA Awards. He's at that Grammy More Music Awards this year. You know what I mean? Shout out, you know, a lot of the dudes that I'm rocking with out here. Young Mafia. You know what I mean? The Kid Hots. You know what I mean? Of course, Giovanni Armani. Okay. Giovanni Armani was making the band part two. He's a part of the movement. Okay, you know a lot, I mean? a lot, a lot of names. You know what I'm saying? You know, so a lot of things to expect. So, um, how how far do you think music, as far as like the way that it started, how far do you think the hip hop generation has come since you know when it was back with BDP and KRS, MC Shan? How far do you think we came? And do you think you know hip hop as a whole has taken? the wrong direction or you know or without question i think a lot of the content you know is what, uh, what's going on right now the content is missing you know you got there's really no substance you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day right now i can make a song about basically anything as long as i'm doing a little and this is not to be cliche as long as a little dance connected to it as long as it's you know what i'm saying got a little catchy beat you know industry as far as the, the powers that be, they don't care too much about substance. But at the end of the day, if it's a message, it's going to change the community. I know we deal with hip hop that's here to change the community. We deal with hip hop that's that's here to make a difference. So our music is kind of slept on, but at the end of the day, it's loved by the masses. It's loved by the true hip hop fans. You know, I mean, you can go back to the Supreme clientele, which Superb had his hands in. You know, you can go back to a lot of the music, like the beat and us, of course, shout out. Fashion, who was my older brother, you know what I'm saying, and the beat that's psycho You know what I mean? That's real hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's really missing right now. But we here to fill our void. Also shout out to Storyboard P, man. A lot of y'all know what's up story. Matter of fact, Omarion knows another storyboard P. That uh, battle that happened and all that. Uh, but he's his man now and all that. Shout out to Storyboard P, man. No doubt. So um so what do you, what do you think um the type of uh I guess not really uh style but like what what kind of vibe do people get from from the artists that you tend to like um put yourself behind like you know what i mean like the, the type of artist that you want to put out you say all right you know this is the kind of guy that i want, want to represent me you know what i mean visually you, you know at the end of the day i think they they they're true artists true like artists. from any level of, of, of cat i'm dealing with whether it's it's because hip-hop is more than just rap right. You see, so we cover every level of hip-hop. You know, we got the best beat makers in the beat nuts and King Red and Miller Time, Alchemist on deck. We got the best of the beat makers, of course, Brizzle. I mean, so at the end of the day, when you think about that level of hip-hop, that, that's what we got that point. Then we talk about lyrics, you know, sit back and listen to, you know, brothers like Spur. Shout out Deuce Broadway and City Order. If you ain't got that, Google those dudes. Go to YouTube and listen to Deuce Broadway. Listen to City Order. You want to hear the true lyrics. See what I'm saying? Steph Spence, the Jitterbug, these are, these are brothers that have true lyrics, so at the end of the day, we got that corner hip hop, we got that corner too. Then of course you gotta deal with the visual, like mm -hmm. the visual is dealing with the art, the graffiti, we got Kato on deck, who deals with the, his artist, this retarded. Then we got the, the dancing side of things, of course, like I said, that's still in So we got all levels of hip hop corners, 
Because hip hop is more than just music, man. Hip hop is a lifestyle. And that's what's missing. You see, they, they, when they, when they put hip hop in a box and it's the biggest rap music, that's what it goes on. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So no doubt, you know what I'm saying, much respect to New York, all the niggas on the island, you know, everybody up top, every borough, you know what I'm saying, and um, this, this is your boy, you know what I mean, Prince, you know what I mean, this is the real Simba, you know what I mean, anything else you gotta say, it was good Got dealing it. you, it's been an honor, you know what I'm saying, you, can't wait to, you know, get in the booth with you, you know what I'm saying, and, and get it, bang out some tracks, you know, no question. you know what I'm saying, like, anything happened for a reason. I gotta shout out Kizzy Raw too out of Philly. You know what I mean? That's my sister. And of course, Keita Marie and the whole Moet movement. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of things popping off, you know what I'm saying, for 2012. And don't think it's gonna be over because it's only gonna be changed in 2012. Right? Only, only Allah knows the hour. So y'all don't get shook up. We know it's gonna be changed in 2012. You know that? Right? So everybody, you know what I'm saying? Keep your ear to the street and, and stay chiseled. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Ryle, you know the Prince. Shout out to my nigga Luis, Val Buena for Well Done Entertainment, Reef the Lost Cause, everybody, PA, NY, let's get it.